Now, I was watching the Lars Anderson A New Live of Art video recently again, and there was something I noticed, which I might have missed before, but it really stuck out to me. Modern archers use only one hand, but in the past, some archers allegedly used both hands to give the arrow more power. My first reaction when hearing that was, what? Because unless you're missing a limb, all bows are meant to be used with both hands. So after looking through a few discussions on Asiatic archery and reading through the source material, that's uh, Arab archery, um, I've come to understand better as to what people mean by using both hands to shoot. And when people illustrate this in relation to Western or modern archery, I feel that it is based on a misunderstanding and in turn leads to misunderstanding. And I want to clarify and combine the differing styles to see how this applies to all methods of archery. First, I want to address the misconception from the layperson's point of view. So someone who hasn't done archery before and sees someone explain both hands or one hand. So uh, we're gonna level down with this child bow. And to many people who have never ever seen archery, have never done archery, they would imagine that to use a bow, you hold the bow here and you pull back with one hand. Hence the notion of only using one hand to shoot. And in contrast, you'll see people shoot like this and you think, ah, that's the right way to do archery. So let's go back to the source and discuss what it's trying to tell us. So in Arab archery, in a chapter titled uh, On Release, uh, it describes how the bow is meant to be drawn and released. And it refers to a double release or using both hands. That is both the bow hand and the drawing hand. And this manual strongly argues that an archer who only uses one hand to draw and release cannot be called an expert archer. In contrast, a skilled and proficient archer who can shoot with speed and accuracy should use both hands to release with speed. In practice and execution, there's actually a lot more happening. It's worth breaking down why this looks different visually and what's happening behind the process. So what does single hand shooting look like? You basically hold the bow hand still you draw with a string hand and you let go with the string hand. Uh, the opposite also happens when you keep the string hand still and you push the bow hand forward and you use that to drive the shot. And the idea of both hands is therefore to do both. So you pull with the uh, string hand, you push forward with the bow hand and you synchronize the release so that both hands expand and release at the same time. So it looks more like this. And that is actually khatra in a nutshell. So doing this with the bow, I'm shooting low on the ground here. If I keep the bow still and release like that, that's the one hand uh, release, which uh, the Arab sources criticize. Uh, in contrast, they heavily advocate the both hand shooting, the two hand method where you push forward release and you push forward with the bow arm and pull back with the string arm. And that's the idea of why Khatra is purported to be a faster method of shooting, a more effective method of shooting. We'll go through Khatra in a different video perhaps, but that's the principle behind using both hands. Pushing forward, pulling back, and dynamically releasing. So in practice, the shot sequence using both hands would have more of a forward push to the technique. Now, not every Eastern style uses Hatra. Um, when you look at sources like Gao Ying, who discusses Chinese archery uh, in the 17th century, uh, he heavily criticizes um, archers who have to flamboyant follow through. So it's not universally adopted. And that got me thinking, well, what's the principle we're really looking at here? And how does it differ from modern and Western archery? The principle behind using both hands is a push and a pull. So with the Eastern style of archery, or the Arabic archery, it's a dynamic flow from start to finish. But when you think about how people shoot in other styles, there is also a push and a pull. You see, when people learn to shoot, 
using western style or modern equipment you're not taught to just hold it here and then pull it back while it's true we don't start from here and push forward like that that you can we still have to apply a push and pull and it's very finely balanced you actually do a shot process you push you pull and you still have that expansion that's the principle behind back tension and the expansion is a step in both eastern archery and in western archery i mean in theory i could if i really wanted to have the uh the forward push with the uh, mediterranean draw it's a little silly to be honest but it's the same principle right if i'm pushing forward with one hand and letting go of the other it's the same visual result. Now that visual result is not what we're trying to go for, but it's definitely possible. Point being is that the forward motion and pushing forward with the bow hand is there in Western archery. With a normal shot process, even without the, uh, the superficial hatra, which isn't needed for Western archery, you can pull back, let go, and it's always gonna be a forward motion because you are expanding. That's why we have correct back tension. In order to maintain back tension, you have to remember to push forward and pull back. And a lot of archers who lose back tension or forget to apply back tension will often have that collapse where they will only pull back with one hand and they find themselves coming back in like this, especially the uh, inexperienced archers. Point being, if you take Arab archery and you say they use both hands to shoot, and then you say, well, in modern archery, they don't use both hands to shoot. I think that's a very big misunderstanding and a very big simplification of what's actually going on. Arab archery, with its historical context and purpose, is more of an advocate for dynamic, rapid shooting and rapid release. Western archery and modern archery is more based on balance and stability. However, the elements of back tension, push, pull, forward movement, backward movement, and using both hands is present in both. It's not executed in the same way, but it's also unfair to say that one style uses both hands and the other doesn't. It may be taught differently, it may use different terminology, but the principles of archery in either style are very similar. And I think that anyone who has analysed and studied both styles, both Eastern and Western, will see that there is a lot more in common than people might think. Anyway, what do you think? Post your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. This is New Sensei, and I'll see you next time.